GLA is the Girls Leaders Association from Plum High School, and it is a service club. And the goals uh, primarily are to provide a service or funds to individual or groups in need, either at school or in the local community in Plum. GLA is a service club that does a lot to help the community. It offers girls the opportunity to become volunteers in their community, to develop skills like leadership, service, character and responsibility and to express those and to kind of develop them and that helps them to do other things later in life that will also get them involved in their community and service projects and things like that. The GLA started in uh, the year 1962 actually with a former phys ed teacher and the first three years actually was an organization called GAA and it was more athletic oriented but Miss Marilyn Bott who was the phys ed teacher uh, who started the organization, decided that that wasn't enough and wanted to expand on that and create even more leadership and more service uh, projects uh, and ways that we can help people. And so in 1965, it changed its name from GAA, or Girls Athletic Association, to Girls Leaders Association. I joined GLA because I was in the Reach Out Club during um, my years at O Block, and I wanted to continue the community service. I thought it would be a really nice thing to get involved in. I had no idea the number of projects that we would be engaged in. One of the most satisfying um, projects that we do here for me personally is the blood drive. We have about four of them a year and it gets really, we get really involved in it. And it's really something that can help your, help your community and people that really need it because there are a lot of people that need blood out there. The most satisfying project, I think, was the presence for patients at any of the senior centers, visiting the seniors just to brighten their day a little bit. That, that really touched me. I always like to go to the breast cancer walk. I've done that every year, and that's kind of important to me because my aunt, she had breast cancer, and we always, like, my whole family likes to donate to that and help out. One of my favorite projects that's also the most memorable for me to do is the Operation Christmas Child project. Um, it occurs during Christmas. It's run by Samaritan's Purse and you get everybody to take a small shoebox and you fill this little shoebox up with small toys and games and this is some, one of the things that goes really far beyond the community and you can reach a lot of people and help a lot of people who are really in need. Well probably the most successful the soldier collection. A few years back we collected two and a half tons of supplies to send to the soldiers in Iraq and now um, we this year collected them to send to Afghanistan. I would absolutely encourage other people to join in GLA as they're coming into high school. It's really important to find your place in high school um, and to make good decisions and everything and joining a volunteer group can be a good thing that can help you to accomplish a lot of things and well, while you're in high school. I would encourage them because it doesn't take that much of your time. You can do a couple things. You don't have to do every single thing. And just a little thing, every little thing counts. I would definitely encourage girls to do this because honestly, I met my best friend, Katie, our president. You meet so many different people through this organization. It is, it, it's changed my life. Next year we'll be losing the person who's Mrs. Shrout, who's been um, in charge of this for years and years. It'll be a difficult transition because she's been here for so long and she's been such a great leader with all of this. She's really been always encouraging and um, helpful to everybody who's coming in. And she has really, really great intentions for everyone. She always just wants to, she's always looking for more people to help in the community. Now we have Mrs. Martello will be taking over next year and she's been helping us for the, with, out with it for the past two years. She's gotten started in it and she's done, been doing a really great job. She has a lot of ideas to offer and I think that as, um, as she switches to be the main leader of this, I think although it'll be difficult because everything will be different, everything will be changing, um, I think we can do it. I'm fortunate to have a sponsor by the name of Amy Martello, who is an English teacher here in the building, a uh, younger uh, teacher, and she is gung-ho on GLA and very service-oriented. And I'm so uh, fortunate to have her take over for me because it's not an easy task. I will definitely be doing stuff like this in college. I don't know exactly what organization yet, but I know I will be. I'll definitely continue this because I learned that, you know, that no matter how big or small you do something, it can make a difference and it can really affect people and it's just good to do something for others. GLA has shown me that it's really important to think about other people and not just yourself. There are so many ways that you can help other people. Like we have a really wide variety of projects. Like I said, we have the blood drive. We have a lot of projects we do at Christmas. Um, we help out with the 
uh, senior centers around here and nursing homes and things like that and then the animal shelter and so like those are just a few of them so it's taught me that there's like so many different things you can do like you shouldn't limit yourself and so I think I've become a better person from doing getting involved in all these diverse ways of helping people it's it's character it's responsibility uh, it's enthusiasm uh, so we really do instill uh, other traits besides just the leadership and service qualities and personally I am a service oriented uh, person and do like to uh, help people and uh, and teach other girls, particularly high school girls, how to uh, assist others and mainly because, as I tell them, it makes you feel good inside that you know that you're helping somebody else uh, and uh, we're doing it not for any kind of monetary benefit, uh, just for uh, the intrinsic value that it really uh, helps you as the person who is the giver and certainly the person who's the receiver.